the sun's out, wings drop, albatross, the iceberg is over there somewhere. Things are looking good. There's very, very little data available from the South Shetland Trench. We need to collect our own baseline data. There's no point coming here with a sub and saying, I want to look at this particular animal group or I want to put down this particular experiment because we don't know where anything is. Okay, I'm going to click along. Clear to coming up. We deploy the landers in groups of three. We'll start at one end and then do the shallow end, then do the middle and then fill in these gaps in between. So first lander launch today was at 2,800, I believe. We've just been putting the traps on and putting the bait on and um, hopefully as we get a little bit deeper now we might start to get uh, a few more fish. Release, release, release. Lander away. Copy, lander away. So the idea is that we get as many data points from the shallow end to the deep end as possible and that allows us to document the diversity and the abundance and the transitions from one community to another down the trench. We also map it a lot as well, so we know where all the features are, and then we get a feel from the sub of all the non-mobile animals, and so you start to paint that picture of where is everything, and what is everything. This is one of the most bountiful it's, dives I've yeah, ever no, done. It's nice. It's, it's, it's never it's, stops. I saw everything. Just incredible diversity, incredible abundance. A two-month trip. It's so huge, it takes time to go through that. We'll go away and we'll spend the next year analysing that data and then presenting ourselves, this is the baseline data. So then in two years time, when we come back again, we'll have everything we've learned the first time around. Wow! That is super cool. That's a lot. That is, isn't it? And so we can go down and we can target particular species or habitats or geological formations. We will know where best to put mooring lines. We've got better information in which to infer where to put the submersible dives. It's quite a tense dive this one, there's so much stuff to see. At one half we're still in an exploration phase and we don't have the, the privilege of being able to just pick up a book and say oh what lives in this place and then do your research and then and do that because there, there are no baseline data from here so this is what we're doing, collecting our own baseline data for future.